Good morning. All right, I'm going to ask everybody to come on in, find your seats. Mike Lawson, can you get everybody in and sit in, please? You all are a talkative bunch. There's nothing wrong with that, but time and place for everything, right? All right, Charles, while you are standing, I'm going to let you open us up in a word of prayer. All right, everybody stand up with us this morning. So last week we did Trading My Sorrows, and I asked for your help, and everybody, most everybody was willing to help me out. We did Yes, Lord, Yes, Lord. This week we're doing Deep, so I need your help again. So, yes, PJ, come on up front. He, he asked for it, y'all. He asked for it. <laughs> All right, so it goes deep, way down deep. So when we do that, it goes Deep. Can y'all do that? Let's see it. Everybody. Deep. Way down. Deep. Way down. Deep down in my heart. Can everybody help me out with that this morning? God likes to see us move, you all. He didn't call us to be Christians and stand still. He wants us to praise him, and that, that includes singing and dancing. All right. Deep. Let's go. Deep 
I won't be able to do the next one. All right, as we do the next one, go ahead and walk around and welcome somebody here. You can get your talking out now. Children's time. All children, make your way down front. You got your. Oh, I got a little thing on my head already. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, yeah. Hi, how you doing? This cool thing on my head, I like it. It's pretty fun. You wanna wear it? You wanna tell them to talk to everybody this morning? Well, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good, 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 good. All the all the adults, everybody, all the adults doing good. 
All the ones that are listening are. <laughs> so today we are going to see a bunch of tricks. Do you guys like tricks? Yeah. You guys like tricks? You know who's going to be doing the tricks? You guys are going to be doing the tricks. Let's see. I have a list of some tricks that Miss Sarah sent me to see if that you guys can do. Can anybody hop on one foot? Anybody do that? Let's see. All right. I'm going to need you. Everybody watch. Now, everybody watch. You're going to hop on one foot for us, okay? It's important that everybody watches. You hop on one foot, okay? Hop. And there we go. Our first trick of the day. And the next trick up is can anybody run super fast? I need the fastest runner. Fastest runner. Y you look pretty adamant that you're the fastest runner. Now I want you to start up Mama K over there. Yep, you. Yes, you. Start up Mama K. And I want you to run all the way over here, okay? Just across the front, as fast as you can. It's important. Everybody watch. Everybody watch. Yep. Our fastest runner and our second fastest runner, it seems. All right. Straight through. Here. Let's, let's clear them some room. Let's clear them some room. That way we don't. All right. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Fast, 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 fast. Woo! Our second trick. All right, and now here comes a hard one. Can anybody pat their belly and rub their head? I think it's you pat your head and rub your belly. I think Miss Sarah wrote that down. We already had a trick from you. Anybody else think they can pat their head and rub their belly like this? Anybody do that? Well, it's you. Let's have both of you try it again. Come on. Come on up. Everybody watch. the. Everybody watch. Let's see. Pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. Everybody watch. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, our next trick, can anybody do a push-up? People in the front doesn't seem to. Oscar can do a push-up. Oscar, let's see if Oscar can do a push-up. Whoa, everybody watch Oscar do push-ups. Wow. And then... Who here thinks they jump the highest out of everybody up here? Who here thinks they jump the highest? Oh, you have the longest legs. Let's see. Let's try you in the red, maroon, and gray. Let's see how high you can jump. Jump. <laughs> that was almost a jump. Does anybody see you? Let's see. Can you? How, how high can you jump? Super high. Whoa! All right. Now we're going to move on to the next trick. What I'm going to do a backflip. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right. You ready? All right. Yeah! Yeah. As a jumping, so 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 is the problem. I didn't, I didn't do. So when I said that I was going to go do a backflip and you were watching, you expected me to do a backflip. So when we were watching everybody else do tricks, when I said, who can run the fastest? And we had a volunteer, what did we expect them to do? Run fast. We had you hop on one foot and everybody's watching. What did everybody expect you to do? Hop on one foot. So... When we say that we're a Christian, or we say that we're one of God's children, what's everybody going to expect us to do? Be a Christian. So that's the word that Miss Sarah wanted me to bring to you guys today, that when we go out into the world and in church and anywhere in our lives, that whatever we do, that we do it knowing that not only that God is watching, that everybody else is watching. It is up to you guys to set a good example at home and at school and at Walmart when you're in the toy section. You set a good example there because when you say you're a Christian, everybody watches and expects to see God in you guys. So everybody, let's let's pray. Oh, a little bit, a little bit old. I'm getting there. Well, I can't be the only one. Everybody, everybody, turn around. There we go. All right. That does hurt. 
Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for all these kids, and I just pray that them and all of us in the congregation, the Lord, that we just go out and set a good example for you, and we're just aware that not only that you're with us and you're watching, that other people are watching us and expecting us to set your example, Lord. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Good morning. It's the first of the month, and so I'm reporting on what we're doing in the children's church. Um, this month is going to be on the book of Judges. Kids are really doing well. Hope you all are seeing that. Uh, our tithing is a little bit low, but uh, with Easter uh, practice and uh, stuff, we, uh, we're still at uh, $8, um, the children's tithing. Um, Where's Pastor? He's supposed to put a... Um, okay. All right. Well, we won't have the pictures, but I was in here working um, on Thursday, and a gentleman... And I kept hearing a dog bark, and um, there was a, a man and a dog standing outside, and he asked if he could have some water for his dog. He had a two-liter bottle. And he told me he was headed to... Uh, Washington, D.C. So I let him come in, and I filled up his bottle of water. We got to talking, and uh, he asked if he could charge his phone. And I said, yes, you can charge your phone. Now, he had a grocery cart full of everything that he owned in that grocery cart. He's originally from Memphis, Tennessee, and he had traveled from Memphis, Tennessee. It was headed down to Danville uh, Highway on his way to Washington, D.C. Um he shared with me his testimony that he was a heavy, heavy addict, really didn't want to live. Um, it was sort of sad hearing his talk because his attitude was, I don't want to live, I want to kill myself. And he reported that on a day that he had $20 in his pocket, he was headed to the drug house to get him some drugs. And this vehicle passed him and threw out a dog onto the highway. And he stood there, he said, I was aghast, thinking who could be that mean to an animal. And he said the dog finally was able to get up and just it came over and just uh, dropped in front of him with his head on his shoe looking up at him. Well, he took that dog, named it Daisy, stopped his drugging, and start living for that dog, taking care of that dog. And they became really, really close. And so that $20, he told me, went toward buying him food and bandages and stuff, taking care of him. His love for that dog is why he was going to Washington, D.C., because he had told Daisy, hey, we're going to Washington, D.C. One day we're going to have our picture made in front of the Capitol. So with him that day was Daisy in a box. He had died. She had died, and so he had it um, cremated and had his ashes, but he had another dog with him, Lucky. And, um, but what he uh, indicated that he didn't have a place to stay. He couldn't walk at nighttime because he couldn't see as well. And so um, spoke with the church, and the elder said, well, let him stay in the barn. So he stayed in the barn just for the night to leave out the next morning. A lot of, unfortunately, we don't have any place in Marion County for people who are homeless to go to. And most churches will turn them away. And I just wanted to say thank you to the church for allowing this man to stay on the property for one night in the barn until he could leave the next day. I want to give, you all give uh, the church and, and God a hand for that. Yeah. Our, the biggest news that I wanted to share with you today is June 5th through the 9th, please put that on your calendar, will be our uh, Vacation Bible School. And it's Kings of the Kingdom this year, and it's going to do with uh, 
the armor of God. Each day we're going to study the armor of God, starting out with the helmet of salvation. And they're going to learn um, about each arm, piece of armor all through Monday through Friday. Friday will end up with the parents back to see what their um, song was about, what, their, what the classes were, were doing, and hopefully um, they'll have a, a nice surprise for you as well. So I need volunteers for crafts, for teachers. Um, so any of you, we got a, the rest of this month to think about it, but we're needing a, a lot of the crafts um, pre-cut uh, for them to color um, and some of the decorations to be pre-cut and, and uh, ready to go so uh, I could use the help. So if you find yourself free at night or during the day, I'll be here. So thank you all so much. God bless. Okay, and I just want to make a quick reminder that we are having the car show. We're not, I mean, but the church is helping with it. But uh, the car show, May 20th here at the fairgrounds, right? Fairgrounds? Yes, fairgrounds. And it is from 9 to 1, May 20th. We are going to start, um, if anybody wants, we're having a bake sale. Everything goes toward Operation Christmas Child. We are asking that everybody bake two or three goodies that would help out a lot if you can't do two or three at least one would be great but we're gonna be here at the church a few of us around 8 a.m may 20th to collect anything if you don't want to bring it here you're more than welcome to bring it out to the fairgrounds okay we good mike did i leave out anything we're good okay all right you all stand up with us we're gonna sing god is on the move Turns from darkness to light. Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight. Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served. I know, I know, I know, I know. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move in many mighty ways. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move, on the move. Speak the truth that sets men free. Anytime the choice is made to stand upon the word, I know, I know, I know, I know. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move in many mighty ways. God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. God is on the move, on the move stirs a searching souls and someone says send me here I go I know I know I know I the ones taking up offering to come on to the front. And I'm going to ask Brother David if he would lead us in offertory prayer.
I will run. 
Thanks. Okay, our last song is Dry Bones. And as I was picking out the music and stuff, it was actually on Friday, you know, God, you know, was speaking to me and stuff. And I was just wondering, like, why are there so many dry bones? Why are there so many dead hearts? Why? I mean, because, I mean, our church, I mean, it's not full, full, but, I mean, we're pretty full. There's a lot of churches that are full, but why are there so many dry bones and dead hearts? And God said that it's because we're not doing our jobs as, as Christians and reaching out to the lost, to reach out to the ones that have strayed and gotten off the path to Jesus. We're not doing our jobs. And I learned several, several years ago when I was working in Emmaus Walk that Sin is not just when we do something that we know we're not supposed to do, but it is also when God tells us to do something and we don't do it. So if God is telling you to go pray for somebody, if God is telling you to go reach out to somebody, if God is telling you to tell somebody that they need to wake up and they need to find Jesus and they need to get their life right and you don't do it, that's a sin. So as we sing this song, reach out to God this morning and ask him what you can do for him today, what you can do for him this week to reach the ones that have strayed, to reach the ones that are lost, dry bones.
Y'all, t- uh, take this moment to just hear the blessings of the Lord. Just shower your life. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, at this time, all of our beloved children and our um, children ministers may be excused. Um, let's give God praise for all of the children. Hallelujah. Half the church go. Isn't that beautiful? Half the church disappears. Praise God. Um, up on the screen, you're going to have the, the scriptures that we're, we're in this morning. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say I love you. And man, how awesome is it to be, to be rooted in God's holy church where you know that you could just come as you are and you're surrounded by saints that we don't judge nobody. We just love you. Amen. And I, I'm so grateful to be part of a body that we, we come in with our brokenness. But here in my heart, you don't have to leave broken. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't have to leave broken. Hallelujah. So before I pray, um, before I pray, Holy Spirit told me to do this. Normally we wait till the end, but she's so anointed. We got to do it right now. Praise God. And uh, you guys know what's coming because um, for, you, for, for you guys who don't know, um, any, any first time guests here, first, first of all, first time, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Um, we love to say here at Open Arms Community Church, on the count of three, family, one, two, three, welcome home. And we mean that with all of our hearts, that this is your church family, and God orchestrated your steps, and thank you for being a part of worship this morning. Um, but that, that ties in perfectly, because for our new, our new guests that are here, our new family members that are here that we just welcomed, um, many of you don't know that after service, if you go to any Mexican restaurant, chip and salsa is on me and Trish. As, eat as much as you want. So that's, there you go. Only the, only the red sauce and the chips. No, not guacamole, no cheese sauce, none of that, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> also, we, uh, we want to wish someone a very special birthday. Sister Cynthia, you just mumbled some words right now. <laughs> I love you. Hey, let's welcome Sister Cynthia. Hallelujah. It's her birthday today. Today. I, I, I'm not going to ask what she mumbled. <laughs> and um, yes, the sombrero is always wiped down with Lysol after, after we sing happy birthday. Amen. So if y'all would stand up with me, we're going to sing her a happy birthday as all of heaven right now is rejoicing. Amen. Who, hey, who, who else? Yeah, come on, PJ, take pictures. Hallelujah. Who else, got, who else is celebrating a birthday? Of course, you're like, I ain't going to wear no sombrero. Yeah, we'll celebrate it next year. Well, we're going to be raptured by then. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just, let's just speak that out, that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Hallelujah. All right, let's all sing. Praise God. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Let's all, <laughs> yeah, we're going to open up in prayer, praise God. It's good to have fun in the house of the Lord, amen. amen. How, how many of you know that all of heaven is just having a party? Amen. Last time I checked in the word of God, there's no sorrow and there's no pain in heaven. Amen. Father spoke. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen. Praise God. <laughs> Listen, there ain't enough electronics to make that happen. <laughs> we, we didn't orchestrate that, okay? Um, so let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. That Father God, as you pour out, the floodgates of heaven are wide open on your children, Heavenly Father. And Lord Jesus Christ, it's all because of you. And in everything, it's all because of you. Every good and perfect thing is all you, Father. So by the anointing presence of your Holy Spirit, your eternal promise, our salvation... Holy Spirit, we thank you. We welcome you. This is your church. We are your people. 
We are one in you, unified in your body, Lord Jesus Christ. One in your spirit, Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to teach us. Father, remove me. Rebuke my pride that I only speak what you, what you would have, Holy Spirit. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that your beloved children will have ears to hear your word. I pray, Heavenly Father, that hearts right now are wide open, that they feel your love, that it was because of somebody just coming around that they don't even know that hugged them, but it was you, Lord. That it was somebody that just smiled at them, and, and they smiled back, and they didn't feel like smiling. It was you, Lord. Amen. It was that little angel running around church just having a great time and just putting smiles on faces. That's you, Lord. Everything good and perfect is you, Lord. So, Father God, I just ask, I repent, I ask, Father, for your forgiveness if we do anything that displeases you. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, to change me. Change me, Father God. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you for this message of faith. And it's in Jesus' name. And all God's people said... Amen. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. So the, 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 the title of this message um, this morning is Faith, My Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'll tell you right now, I have this um, picture on all of my electronics. And it's just a friendly reminder that this is not our home. Right? But here in my heart, there's things that happen to us, whether it's in relationships or situations or maybe a circumstance of some sort, or maybe you're just at Walmart where you feel tested, right? Where Walmart feels a little too real. Come on, somebody, help me out, right? Right? Guess what? Walmart's temporary. <laughs> we are eternal, amen? And it's those moments where we have to say this word with me, faith. We have to show our faith in not only who we belong to, but in how we conduct ourselves. Because we have to know that in the spiritual realm, there is this kingdom law that Father God put in place, and it's called faith. But here in my heart, the worldly law, the worldly law, this world, this fallen evil world is against faith. This world wants you to act on based on what you see, right? Based on, how, based on how someone may treat you, based on something that you may be struggling with. Why? Because you actually see it and you feel it. And that becomes your reality if you're not careful, if you're not careful that, hold on a minute, I'm not part of this world. God gives me faith. Amen? Hallelujah. Say with me, faith. And God right now wants to bless you with such faith. Hear my heart, because this is a big promise. With such faith that it will move mountains. Amen. Amen. And I stand amongst, I rarely use that word. I stand amongst lions. Amen. That you have moved many mountains. Come on now, give Jesus praise. Amen. Amen. Whoa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man. mountain mover hallelujah so let's just get right into the word um now disclaimer there's going to be moments in this message where you're going to be like what the heck is going on what are you talking about this is where i'm asking you don't don't look at me don't pay no attention to me just worship lord jesus and holy spirit will teach you amen i i, I believe far too often we put too much credit in the one speaking when here in my heart we're nothing we're nothing. What we're doing is worshiping, and then Holy Spirit wants to teach you. Amen? So call his name out, Holy Spirit. Do it again, Holy Spirit. Say it like you mean it, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's get it. For I am. Say this with me, I am focused. When we talk about the great I am, we know that, okay, I am who I am. Right? We take that directly out of Exodus chapter 3. Amen? With that encounter with Moses, right? Moses said, who are you? What do I say? God says, I am who I am. You tell him, I am. You tell them, I am. Amen? You say, I am. You say, I am. I am. Amen? Say, I am. I am. So notice right now, because in the name of Jesus, what you're doing right now is you're calling on our God. <laughs> However... 
However, if you don't have Christ as your Lord and Savior, when you say I am, it is the most ultimate blasphemy because you're talking about yourself because you are your own God. So you notice right now, Father God is saying to us as his beloved children, I need you to focus. I need you to focus. So we talk about who is the great I am. Well, you saw what just popped up on your screen. Amen. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Say his name, Holy Spirit. And say it gooder and gooder. Say it with me, Abba. Yeah, that's our daddy. Amen. That's our eternal daddy. Now, no disrespect to your, your daddy on earth. Praise God. You, you got a daddy here on earth? Listen, love on him. They did something wrong to you, forgive them. Can I get an amen? Because uh, hear my heart. Whatever evil anyone has done to you, it is the devil. It's not that person. It's the devil. And it's time to cut that devil's head off and stop blaming the person for what they did. And you put the blame where it belongs, that dang devil. Amen? It's time to rebuke that garbage. Can I get an Amen. And how do you rebuke that garbage? You have to forgive people who do you wrong. Amen. Amen. Come on now. How many of you had a bad day? Right? I ain't going to judge you. I got my hand up. I got, how many of you woke up and had a bad day? Okay. We're getting somewhere, right? But isn't it amazing of our God that he gives us the choice? Do you want to continue to have a bad day? And so what do we do to, 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 to transform, to change our day? What do we do to, to completely see, hit the pause button? Y'all ever do that? See, Trisha and I, we can't go to the movies. Because I ask her like 18 questions throughout the whole movie. And so she always has to hit the pause button, and she'll explain it to me. And then she'll just be like, are you done? And I'm like, yeah, I'm done for now. A couple minutes go, I'm like, well, what just happened here? Right? But I love this because God has given us the ability to hit the pause. Can I get an amen? Amen. Say with me, hit the pause. So how do you hit the pause if you wake up in a crunchy mood? Thank you, Jesus. Pray. I hear a lot of thank you, Jesus. Right? How powerful is that when you just say thank you, Jesus? Amen? When your focus and intimacy is in him. Get what, guess what? It just gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen? And this is focus and intimacy. These little icons that, pull, that, that popped up on your screen here, I just wanted to show you in the written word what the Bible says our three-part being is. It's a soul, it's a body, and it's a spirit. Go like this. See, in, in Jesus' name, this is worship to me. Seriously, as, as goofy as we all look right now, our Father God's like, look at my child. Amen? This is who we are. Spirit, soul, and body. Amen? And, and, and check this out. Don't you love how it lines up with God? I need you to really get this now, family, because remember, say it with me, focus. God wants you to focus not only on who he is. He is agape. That's the perfect love. It don't get no gooder than that. Amen? Agape. Hallelujah. Who is agape? Praise God. Can you remove one? Huh, say it with me, rebuke that. Amen. Praise God. If Sister Jackie was here, she'd be like, ooh, that was really good, right? Well, the same thing applies to your very being, your eternal being. You got a soul, you got a spirit, you got a body. Amen? Amen. And God right now wants you to focus as far as on your three-part being. Listen, there's many of you that are struggling right now, and in Jesus' name, he wants to help you. Amen. But this is how you start with your help. You have to recognize, number one, The love of our God. That he loves you and he's for you. Number two is, you have to know who you are in Christ. Right? Let me explain for a minute. If there is something going on in your soul that is tormenting your thoughts, the word of God says, you don't know how much he loves you. Because how many times did Lord Jesus Christ tell in the Bible, don't worry. Amen. Right? There's one for every day if you truly break it down. In the whole Bible, there's one for every day. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Isn't that amazing? 
Isn't that amazing? We like to get so advanced in our Christianese, right? And we want to know all these different scriptures and act like we're something. But then we walk around going, oh, my gosh, I just don't know what to do. Oh, my goodness, you know what the doctor said? Oh, my goodness, you know, when I walk, this hurts. Don't you agree with me? It's time to take that thing captive and cut that off and say no more in Jesus' name. Amen? I'm just going to give you a warning. If you look at me crunchy, I will pick on you. All God told me all I'm doing is loving you and telling you the truth. But if you're looking at me like I owe you some money, I'm going to pick on you because you're being a distraction. And I'm trying not to be distracted. So will you put a smile on your face and worship? Hey. Say it with me, God loves me. God. Turn to your neighbor and say, God loves you. God loves Amen. Don't forget your other neighbor on the other side if you... It says, for I am not ashamed. Say this with me, focus. Now, here in my heart, these pictures right here just shows what it looks like when someone's ashamed. I love that one picture because you got a mom acting all goofy and the teenage daughter's like, oh, my goodness. Right? Right? Hey, ain't that the truth, though? Hey, listen, I was a teenager, okay? I get it, right? It's like, oh, man, you are so not cool right now, Right? Right? Or then this other guy, right, that he just has his hand up and, and his face turned like, I don't want nothing to do with you, right? See, God's saying if you're focused on who I am and the love of God, the love of Christ, the love of Holy Spirit in you, that you know that I'm a three-part being, that I have a soul, an eternal soul. Say it with me, eternal. Because you're saved through Jesus Christ. You're eternal. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so check this out. This body is... This body is no longer my body, it's his body. Oh, and his body's going to do CrossFit, right? His body, amen? And when you know that you're his body, guess what? His spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit, he lives inside of you. He reigns inside of you, amen? You know it, beloved Austin, you know it because you're like, man, I don't even act the same no more. I don't even talk the same no more. You know, I used to drop F-bombs all I want. Now I hear it, I'm like, ugh. Right? Who is that? Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. His, his holiness. Hallelujah. He's our God. Amen. Say it with me, new covenant. See, you are the new covenant church. Check this out. You ain't no Jew. So quit trying to act old school. You're in the wrong set. They don't even, they don't even recognize you. All right? You need Jesus. Can I get an amen? <laughs> and Jesus said, you are new covenant. Hallelujah. So don't stop trying to say, oh, I, need to, I need to obey all the Ten Commandments. No, that's already been done, obeyed through Jesus. Can I get a hallelujah? It was actually 613 of them. If we're going to break it down, there's actually over 600 laws that Lord Jesus Christ only himself fulfilled so that we could be free from that and only have two laws love God with all your heart soul mind and strength and love one another hallelujah as we love oh come on now glory be to God hallelujah this oh this is power amen, amen. say with me power. power so praise God say with me I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. okay we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere now because you know, I said I am, and I know who I am is. He's my father. He's only my father because Jesus Christ is my Lord. And because Jesus Christ is my Lord, the father sent his spirit to live inside of me. Oh, come on now, hallelujah. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Say this word with me, intimacy. All right. How many of you, how many of you truly want to get more intimate with God? I can't get enough. Amen. Amen. Here in my heart, I'm, I'm going to talk about my old dead self. When I say my old dead self, let me explain. I did die already. When I confessed Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior, and here in my heart, when I, when I prayed and cried out to him, and I told him, I, I don't want to die serving myself. I want to die serving you. Amen. Here in my heart, I died that moment. 
And that very next moment, Holy Spirit breath is alive in all of us. Amen? And the anointing power be, behind Holy Spirit is this, is that Holy Spirit, he wants to be intimate with you. He wants to know your business. Even though he's God and he knows everything, he wants you to say, you know what, Father, I messed up and I'm sorry. Guess what? Does Father know that you done messed up? But he's waiting, say it with me, in faith. He's waiting in faith and intimacy that you will seek him and go, Father, I'm so sorry I messed up. And the beauty of his mercy is that he loves to see his beloved children come to him with your brokenness. He loves that. So don't let the devil tell you, look at you, you messed up. The last thing you want to do is go to church. Rebuke that. That's Satan. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, his Holy Spirit church is going to be overflowing with souls because you know why? It's his love that is going to draw them in. Can I get an amen? Oh, hallelujah. He loves you. So when we talk about this intimacy, praise God, check this out. We talk focus, say it with me, focus and intimacy. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. When you know that you know God, you know that your soul is eternal. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm not the kind of brother that's going to judge anybody. You call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're saved. Amen. Amen. Don't hang around with theologians that have different opinions. This is between you and God. Can I get an amen? Because guess what? It don't matter what they think. Can I get an amen? You ain't going to stand before God at the throne and be like, hey, guys, so what do you think? <laughs> guys, hey, remember on earth you said, tell him right now. Are you kidding me? It's just going to be you and him. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's going to want to bless you and say, well done, my faithful servant. Can, can you all say it together? Well done. Well done. Hallelujah. Are you, are you a well done child of God right now? Amen. Amen. Because hear my heart, if you're not or if you feel like you're backslidden or you're struggling or you, whatever it is, guess what? Say it with me. Today's the day. Amen. This altar is always open. Amen. Pastor said it like, it's always open. You don't need to wait for a moment. Holy Spirit puts it on you. You get up. It's his altar. This is his church. Amen. But when we talk about intimacy, this is intimacy, what you see pop up on your screen. Say it with me, spirit. You see, many people don't realize this, that when anyone is struggling with any type of lust or addiction, they open their spirit to that demon. And that demon moves in. And that demon starts to torment not only the body, but torment the mind. And it starts to yearn. It's, it, it's, it's thirsty, right? It's thirsty. But guess what? It don't want living water from Holy Spirit. It wants you to satisfy the thirst with other demonic things. Say this word with me, intimacy. See, here in my heart, I could go, I ain't going to look at nobody. Smoking. I don't. Listen, I'm not judging nobody, amen? I, am I judging you right now? Am I even looking at you right now? But my point is, is check this out. You need to hear this now. When you smoke, it goes into the body. It triggers the soul that you need it. And in the holy of holies, that demon is saying, yes, now you could relax. Now you can have a better day. It's okay. Half the room got crunchy. Listen. <laughs> li listen. Yeah. You're a beloved child of God here and he loves you. Amen? Amen. This, this applies. All right. I'm not going to look at you. I'm not going to look at you. Okay? Let, let, let's step away from cigarettes because Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy say it with me. Holy Spirit got you. Holy Spirit got you. Amen. And that's the truth. Amen. If you don't want to smoke no more, Holy Spirit, God, then he give you the anointing power right now to break it. Can, can we give God praise for that? I believe that right now. Here's another thing. What about this? My gosh. Have you looked at the world lately? Everybody walks around like this. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey what's up? It's like the only way you can carry a conversation is, hello? 
Hey, man, I've been following you for five minutes. You want to talk? Oh, hey, how you doing, you know? Say it with me, demon. But here in my heart, when you have Holy Spirit and you have the anointing of God in your life, and you are not ashamed. You see, there's things that we should be ashamed about. But if we're no longer ashamed about the things that are evil and sin, then what are we doing to the presence of God? Right? Are we expecting God to compromise himself and his character to cater our pride? You don't know God. But if you're truly worshiping God and Holy Spirit says, my daughter, it's time to put that down, and you hear his voice and you go, does that not glorify God right there? Amen? Amen? Now here in my heart, there, there's some of you that, that right now are saying, well, preacher, you're trying to tell me that I need to delete my social media and I can't go on Instagram and I can't do my videos? No. Number one, repent because you're just all insecure and you're letting that demon get you all offensive. This is a, this is a message of love to encourage you. Because what I'm trying to do in Jesus' name is protect you and your family and your relationships because I promise you, ain't nothing good comes out of spending hours and hours and hours on social media. Nothing good. Nothing good. Oh, well, preacher, I put some scriptures up there. Okay, then that's between you and God. Are you just putting some scriptures up there for likes? So people know you're a Christian? Last time I checked, you ain't Vietnamese. That's something Wong right there. Right? You ain't Mr. and Mrs. Wong, right? You, 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 you should be known as a child of God based on the way you exist. Can I get an amen? amen? I mean, just by you showing up, people should know, oh, that's a beloved child of God. Amen? amen? That's a beloved child of God. Amen? I want to read this to you in Matthew. Matthew 10, 32. It's not up on the screen. Holy Spirit was dealing with me this morning, and he gave me a couple more scriptures to read. He says, therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Amen? Amen. So my question to you is, we're going to get deep once again, like I said. It's all Holy Spirit. If Holy Spirit is telling you as a husband to stop being so hard on your wife and you don't do it, are you denying him? If Holy Spirit tells you as a wife to stop gossiping and talking about everybody, but you choose to do it anyway, are you denying him? If Holy Spirit tells you to fast, we're living right now in a day and age where we, we all need to be fasting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, hold on a minute. Hey, 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 hold on. Listen, the Bible says so. And if you're going to get mad at me for telling you what the Bible says, then let's talk after service because we, we need to discuss what's really going on. Because Lord Jesus Christ himself said, pray and fast. Enough of this excuse. Oh, well, my blood sugar level and, oh, you just don't know how I feel or I get dizzy. Guess what? You're, you're going to be dizzy. Guess what? You're going to be hungry. But don't you think it's time that we do something different to get more intimate with God Almighty? Can I get a hallelujah? Amen. Say with me, I am faith. Where does faith live? Hallelujah. Many of you are doing this. Amen. Faith lives in here. For I am not ashamed of the, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Say with me, I believe. Do you really believe? Because if you believe what we are worshiping right now, if you believe it, this means that you're living it right now. Amen. Don't you love moments like this? It's like, oh, dang. Right? So the question remains, what areas of your life are you not living with this type of authority? What areas of your life that you're living in shame of? Hear my heart say it with me, no more. No more. Say it again, no more. no more. 
Oh, say it like you mean it, mighty lions, no more. Because in Jesus' name, God has given you the authority and power through his Holy Spirit. That it's time for us to get ready, amen? It's time for us to get ready. So are you truly wet ready? You just heard the thunder clap, right? You just heard Father speak. But what if that was a trumpet? Would we all be gone? Or would there be some of you sitting here going, I thought I had more time. Or is there some of you sitting here going, I just thought I had it. No, you didn't. You had religion. You had your way the whole time. Now it's time to let Jesus have his way in your life. Can I get an amen? For in it, what is it? Faith. Say with me, faith. Is revealed from faith to faith. That is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen. And I love this picture. I play it out because as I look upon every one of you, you got Jesus as Lord. Brother Cody, guess what? That is the power of God living in you, beloved son of God. Hallelujah. That's the power of Christ. Some of you don't, some of y'all don't feel powerful right now. Let me explain why. You've allowed garbage to come in. But God has given you the ability and authority to clean house. Amen. Can I get an amen? Will you clean house this morning? Will you? Listen, I want you to be so intimate with God that you hear him throughout your whole day. Right, Brother Justin? Your whole day. Right? It, it, could, it could be whatever it is that you're doing. You could be working in the manufacturing floor. Amen. You could be cutting yards. Hallelujah. The 1,800 yards, Brother Brandon God. Praise God. But the whole time you're just, thank you, Father. Right? Thank you, Father God. Right? You could be a salesman. Right? You could be a nurse. You could work in whatever it is that you're doing. God wants to be a part of every bit of you. And my question to you is, don't you, don't you want that? Yeah. Amen. Because I think, so, hear my heart, I think that especially in this area that we're in, that religion has really put a stank on the gospel of Christ. Amen. That religion has really hurt people. Amen. Right? That, that, hear my heart, that there's people that claim to be Christians, but guess what? They're just spectators. They're not part of Team Jesus. They just like to just look at everybody. Amen. Right? Guess what? Let them watch. Amen. Amen? Let them watch. Amen? Will you choose today to say, Father, I want to be intimate with you. Listen, there's a reason why we can't get away from this message of intimacy, of focus. Because the moment is coming real soon. That when that trumpet sounds, we are going to be standing before God Almighty. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, and what a glorious day that will be. Amen. Amen. I'm just asking. Hear my heart as a foolish, loudmouth, loving brother that I am. I'm just asking, are you really ready? Because if there's something going on in your life, why not make today the day to get right in his presence? Amen? Amen. Praise God. We're going to finish, we're going to finish up here. Well, we got a few more, but check this out. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand, say with me, I understand, that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen we're not made of things which are visible. Once again, we are not of this world. So here in my heart, beloved child of God, don't act like this world and don't speak like this world. Amen? As a beloved child of God, you start speaking. Come on now. You start speaking the anointing. Amen? You start speaking it right now. Listen, you may not have nothing in your bank account. You say, Father, I thank you that you are my provider, that there is no lack, Father God. I speak that... I, I rebuke this sick bank account. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Touch it, Lord. Hallelujah. Over, overflow. Hallelujah. Speak it out. No. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hey, start calling people. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ain't no balance in there. What good does that do? Is that acting like a child of God? No. But when you see things and you know, no, this, is, this ain't right. Jesus Christ is my Lord. 
I mean, I'm living in abundance. Can I get an amen? He wants me blessed. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. He wants me blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Don't wait for something to come upon your body or start feeling bad. And then you start using faith. Why? Why? It's time now to say, by your stripes, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you that I am healed. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that your blood covers me in my house and that nothing can come against your house in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father God, that all your angels surround me and your angels push evil far, far, far away from me, Heavenly Father. Oh, I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you bless me with your beloved daughter who loves me through you. Hallelujah. Through you first, Father God, that she loves you so much that, Holy Spirit, your presence and anointing in her life would manifest in the overflow and encourage me and love me and speak life over me. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you that we are surrounded by a multitude of saints, a multitude of believers, beloved children of God, that we worship you, Father God, and that we don't judge nobody because you are the only judge. And all you asked us to do, Father, is to show them love, to speak encouragement, to speak life and healing, to give them hugs and loves because, Father God, this is how much you love us. Can I get an amen? When we speak life, that is Jesus. Amen? In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He is in the beginning with God through Him. Say it with me. Through Him. All things were made. Without Him, nothing was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Hallelujah. In the past five years, this door has been used a lot in a lot of the messages. But I just want to show you what Holy Spirit gave in this message last night and this morning. This is what Holy Spirit said. Many of us focus on Jesus. And right there, there is Jesus. But the intimacy is in that room. But we live in a day and age now where we're so evil in this evil world that there's Christians walking around going, there's Jesus. You need to get right. You need to repent. You need to read your Bible. You need to do this and that. There's Jesus. But you know what the problem with that picture is? I'm not standing in that room. The Word of God says through him. Am I going through the door by going like this? Christianity is not a spectator sport. Are you in? Are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out? See, there's so many people that are spectators and they know Jesus. Oh, I I know Jesus all my life. But are you intimate? Are you hearing me, family? The only way you can get intimate is allow someone to come in. Remember what I told you? Who has a cigarette right now? Give me a cigarette. First time you're going to see a preacher. And I'm not trying to trick you. Somebody be quick with it, please. We're trying to close. Who got a cigarette? Because I know we got smokers in here. You hear the thunder. Some of y'all need to see it in this way. And I don't care if you get offended because this is just the truth. You can tell me how addictive cigarettes are. You can tell me that this is one of the hardest things to break. I was addicted for 15 years, okay? But here in my heart, if you give me a cigarette and I walk around, are you seeing this? Are you looking? Check this out. I'm not addicted to it. But before you before you start clapping or doing anything, did you notice something? Did I really partake in that cigarette? I acted like it. And now I'm going to go preach to you. Now I'm going to go preach to you that, oh, you know what? 
cigarettes, they seem all scary and all that. Pastor, elder, I'm going to ask you to pray over her real quick. Hear my heart, family. I could walk around with this every day. But until I light it, come on now, can somebody help me worship right now? Until I light it, and then what do I do? Inhale it, now it becomes part of me. The same way, this is how the devil deceives people now. The same way Jesus is saying, are you going to walk around, but you're not going to light me up? Because you see Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus is provided by and through God so that Holy Spirit will light you up. And now every breath you take is in the anointing of God Almighty. Can I get a hallelujah? Let's give God praise. Amen. So this illustration right here, if somebody can shut down the lights, praise God. Anybody? Thank you, Brother PJ. In this illustration right here, I don't know how long you've been alive. I don't know where you're at with the Lord. That's why there's question marks over these, these arrows right here. But as you notice, it comes to the point where you recognize Jesus. And that's where that wall is. That's where that door is. Can I get an amen? amen? Now check this out. That door is there for a reason. Just like this door is right here. And we said this is Jesus. But remember, our focus is to be intimate with Jesus. Amen? Amen. And so check this out. When you're intimate with Jesus, what happens is when you go through this door, you become, you become so intimate with God that his fire, his presence is living inside of you. Amen. How many of you want that presence from the Lord? Amen. Stand up on your feet with me. Praise God. Faith stands for focus and intimacy through him. Amen. Say it with me. Focus and intimacy through him. Are you going to walk through or are you going to be a spectator? Because I'm going to tell you this. Spectators, spectators, all they want to do is talk about everything wrong. That's it. If, 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 if leadership is having a serious discussion, you know what spectators do? Oh, can you believe that? Look at what they're going through. Can you believe that? That's a spectator. But you know what Team Jesus does? You know what? We're going through some things. Pray. Pray. Pray for our elders. Pray for our pastors. Pray for our deacons. Amen. Because we are unified in Holy Spirit and we're going to bless God and we're going to speak life. Amen. That no matter what the season is, we're going to get through it and get gooder and gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to ask you in Jesus' name tonight or today, whatever it is, all the days are bleeding together. Praise God. I know I done put my lips on this cigarette. You, you don't want that back. <laughs> but Father God is asking. He's asking you. In that illustration of that cigarette, is that you and your Christianity that you're walking around with just a cigarette that's not lit? Or do you have the fire of God in your life? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that illustration, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you are the fire, consuming fire. And this fire only exists in who you are, the great I am, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Father God, right now, I believe and declare over every ear that has ears to hear that, Father, they had such a revelation in your presence, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father. So, Father God, if there's any soul that does not know you to today, Father God, right now, I pray in Jesus' name that you would save their souls. And if that is you, if that is you, that you're, you, you're, you're standing there going, my goodness, I've never heard, I've never heard Holy Spirit or even felt him or even, I've never, I've never had this. Will you make today the day? If that is you, I pray in Jesus' name that you will reach out to, listen, we got our elders up here, we got pastor up here. Let them know. And in these next couple songs, guys, let, let's flood this altar and ask God to light such a fire in us that every breath we take, we're getting more and more intimate in him. And it's in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Sometimes I fall.